I'm Sabrina with the 2 Minute LRA News You Need to Know. There are a lot of questions when it comes to tip pooling, and we want to make sure you're doing tip pooling right. This video is a review of the U.S. Department of Labor's Wage and Hour Division Fact Sheet No. 15, Tipped Employees Under the Fair Labor Standards Act. It's acceptable for restaurants to require tip pooling. However, there are legal requirements and limitations. Namely, how much is contributed, providing proper notice to affected employees, and who can participate in the tip pool. Let's tackle how much money can be contributed. There is no maximum amount or percentage that can be required to be contributed to the tip pool. However, the employer must provide advance notice to contributing employees of the required amount. And remember, the amount required cannot exceed the amount of tips the employee received. Now let's talk about who can participate. Tipped employees are those who customarily and regularly receive more than $30 per month in tips. The U.S. Department of Labor Wage and Hour Division has found that persons such as wait staff, bellhops, counter personnel, bus employees, and service bartenders are among the kinds of employees who may participate in a tip pool. As for who cannot participate in the tip pool, that would be managers, owners, dishwashers, cooks, and chefs. Tips put into a tip pool cannot be retained by the employer for any reason. As with all wage hour issues, small mistakes, even perfectly innocent ones, can lead to expensive consequences. If you'd like to review your tip pool practices with expert legal counsel, please contact the LRA Communications Department at 504-454-2277. Remember, this video is not intended as legal advice, and any questions regarding tips or tip pooling should be addressed to legal counsel. That's our two minutes. I'm Sabrina. Thank you for watching.